Good morning. It's day two of Vlogmas and um, I just wanted to get on here and introduce the vlog and you know what today is. It's candle day. So I'm in my bathroom because the light's pretty decent in here. So we are going to put our shoes on, uh, run out to Bath and Body Works. I did do an online order last night when they first released at 8 p.m. So later on the vlog, I will go over what I ordered from online and then I'll show you what I got in store. So I have a lot of stuff to do today. You should see my living room is a hot mess. Um, there's Christmas decorations everywhere, but the tree is at least half decorated now. The lights are on, the ribbons are on. I just want to let the kiddos do the um, ornaments when they come home from school. We also still have to decorate both of their Christmas trees and I have to get the outside decorated. I have not done anything out there. I think I've been delaying that because I asked my husband to um, run an electrical line outside for me. Um, so he needs to tap into the side of the house and run electric and all. I don't know nothing about that. So he needs to do that so I got to have lights outside. So, but let's just get into this. Let's get going. Let's see what these lines are at the store. Hopefully there is no line. Um, like I mentioned, I did purchase, I think it was eight to 10 candles. I think it was eight candles last night. So literally what's on left on my list is maybe 12. So um, let's go see what they have. I hope they have everything that I didn't get online. If not, it's okay. Like at the end of the day, it's candles, but I just, I've always enjoyed candles no matter if they're, um, uh, what's that company's name? Oh my gosh, Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle. Then there's the one, um, wooden wick candle from uh bed bath and beyond that i really enjoy too so but i haven't bought any of those for in a while i've been doing like walmart or either bath and body work so anywho let me not get on here and ramble let's get our shoes on get on out the door and get down to the store and see what they have oh y'all it's cold out here i'm gonna let this car run up uh, warm up a little bit but um yeah so if i look a little foggy it's only because um I think my camera lens is cold. So it says it's 34 degrees out here. So I guess it's not too bad. Some of y'all live in further north than I do. And uh, y'all be going through it when it comes around this time of the year. So um, you know what? Let's just let's just go. So we're going to pull on out of here. Looks like I'm good. Ooh, maybe not so good on gas. I got a quarter tank. So we should be all right. We don't have to go that far. But yeah, I'm, so, I'm excited. I'm excited to... Um, see what's going on at the store and oh my gosh i forgot my coupons all right i'll be back y'all i'd have been so mad because listen i need my little 10 off 40 um and you know why i forgot it because normally let's get started normally i will um take my purse well josh is not with me today because he of course had to work and he would normally hold my my little crate and my little what do you call them things? Crates, cartons, the, the, the little candle holder, the six little candle holder things. So he would normally like carry those for me, and then I would have my purse. Well, I wasn't gonna bring my purse because I need to have my hands free. I and mean, nobody's buying bringing that big old purse. So I was like, I'll just put my wallet in the um in my in my jacket pocket with my keys and my phone and we'll be good well ooh, this is swiggly sorry y'all well of course my coupons is in my purse so that's what we're not gonna do and um forget those coupons but they got this one right here since i'm sitting like this eight dollar vanilla bean oh can y'all see that Y'all, really? Okay, $8 vanilla bean or winter candy apple. Mm -mm. Nope. That's going to be a no because vanilla bean don't have a spell. So we're not going to spend $8. And that one's not available till December 11th anyway. So we're not going to spend any money on that. And they could keep that winter candy apple. So I'll just use the other two. And I can give that other one to somebody else because I will never use that. But all right, y'all. We going now. So let's get on this road get to the store and i gotta get back home because i got a lot of um i got a lot of work to do that living room looks atrocious so let's get on down the road and see what we find 
Okay, y'all, I gotta do a little voiceover action right here. But these are the items that I ordered offline. Um, like I said, I think it was like eight candles that I got. And the only one that I'm really not digging is that Tipsy Elf. I They did have that in store. And I was like, mm -mm, I don't think I like this one. So this one's probably going to go back. But Frosted Coconut Snowball, y'all know I already love. Um, the Snowy Coconut Frost was really good. I smelled that in store. The Land of Snow they had in store. I should just, so I should have just waited. Eucalyptus Rain, Mahogany Coconut, and Black Teak Wood. Okay, so guys, I'm back home now. I'm all settled in my room. So I'm just going to go over what I did pick up from the sale. So today I did redeem a reward. And I, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I did this. I probably should have just got another um, single wick candle with this reward. But I picked up the uh, Moonlight Path. I find fragrance mess. Because let me tell y'all something. I still have not gotten a email saying that my shipment for that fine fragrance mess um, sale has been shipped. So they must be really behind at the factory. I don't even know when to expect my online um, candles to come in. But um, I did pick this up. I really do like this um, scent. Um, the notes on it is Night Blooming Jasmine, which it, it, it doesn't shock me because the original Night Blooming Jasmine, I love. I love that. And that's an online um, exclusive, so you can't walk in a store and get that one. But this one you can. Um, it has Night Blooming Jasmine, Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Soft Musk. It smells really, really good. This is like one of my dirty o's what i would consider um something that i have been using for over probably almost well no it's been over 20 years because i've been shopping at bath and body works probably since 1996 97 ish it was around the time that i was uh graduating from high school was when i started shopping at the store so yeah this moonlight path this and now what i used to remember is juniper breeze i love 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 juniper breeze but i don't think they sell that anymore at all even online as an um, online exclusive um so then i normally will reach for um the sea island cotton but enough of that we will uh, hopefully have a fine fragrance um haul coming up whenever i do get that order in the mail but honestly i wouldn't be shocked if i got my candles before i got my fine fragrance um um order so here's the candles that i picked up came in these nice i love these bags um bath and body works stuff on candle day i keep my bags i um store them downstairs and i just reuse them for shopping or whatever i want to get them for so let's put this on the floor because that's i don't that's the last thing i want to do is dump this candle these candles so first one i picked up is peppermint sugar cookie shocker right but um, I love this one. I only got one. I had it on my list to get two. Um, but look at the packaging on that. So pretty. So very pretty. Um, it rem Oh, so, okay, that's why. It reminds me of Nutcracker. So that would be like Marie and the night um, that she had her dream. So we used to go see the Nutcracker all the time. And now my kids are a little older. They, they could care less about the Nutcracker. But Peppermint Sugar Cookie, I know I've gone over the notes on this one um, probably two times before. But once again, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookie. Oh, fantastic. Andy's Candy, I'm telling you ladies, if you like those little mints, those little after dinner mints, you're going to love the smell of that. So that's uh, peppermint sugar cookie. I also picked up Holiday. I got two of these. I love this scent. Um, like I had mentioned before, I went in, I don't know, on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, smelled all the candles that I thought I would like. And this one was just, I was like, I have to have this. So I did pick this up, um, uh, two of these up. Uh, the notes on this is red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, and ground nutmeg. And that cinnamon in here, if you don't like cinnamon, you're not going to like this candle because the cinnamon in this is strong. It just smells like Christmas. Uh, it just, it's just a fantastic candle. Um, packaging is kind of pretty. Um, you know me, I like the little cutesy packagings on these um, candles, but this is really nice. Of course, it has just had the traditional Christmas colors of red, green, white with a little bit of ac um, gold accent on there. Get a little bit closer so you can see that, but such a really, such a good smelling candle. I have pulled this out um, to go next on one of my uh, candle holders, so that's holiday right there. Okay, next one I picked up 
is eucalyptus mint. This is like one of my refresher candles. So when I'm tired of smelling all the Christmas scents, the pine, the balsam, the peppermint, um, I will reach for something like this. Um, eucalyptus mint, very, very fresh uh, smelling candle. The notes on this is fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, and lemon zest. It just really refreshes the atmosphere within your home. And it's a good candle. If this is strong enough, it's fresh and strong enough to go downstairs. Um, the bathroom, if I put it in the bathroom, it's going to have the whole second floor smelling good. So really good candle. Um, love the way it smells. Like I said, once again, very fresh candle. I like to use it when I'm, I'm, I'm over all the Christmas candles. So there's um, eucalyptus uh, mint. Very, very nice smelling candle. Okay, next is... Tis the season. And there's the packaging on that. Looks like little gingerbread Christmas trees and a tree loaded on top of the car. Very, very cute. And I already have one of these downstairs from last year, but I always have to have two Tis the seasons because it just, it's like, to me, it's not right if you don't have two. So this one's another one just smells good. And I, I always forget it's the apple. It's the apple is very, very strong in here. So the notes on here is rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. The apple is very, very strong in this. So if you like apple, you're gonna love this um this this candle. Um just perfect for the Christmas season. Um and this is also next to go on for, for burning downstairs. So um, it burns pretty strong. I feel like I can smell it downstairs in the more open area. So if you like a stronger candle, this one will be one for you to pick up. So there is Tis the Season. Okay, next I picked up Crushed Candy Cane. Look how cute. A little snowman on there with their mittens. Pink hue to the wax. I think all the rest of the wax that I already showed you, they were all that creamy white um, color, but this is a really blushy pink. Um, this smells just like a candy cane. Um, I think this smells more like a candy cane than Twisted Peppermint. As much as I love Twisted Peppermint, this just smells like a Brock's um, candy cane that you would put on your Christmas tree. Yeah, so it's so, it's such, I feel like it's more sweet a sweet peppermint than twisted peppermint. But the notes on this is crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. I think that's what I'm really smelling is that white um, sugar crystals. And it just makes it smell so, just so sweet. That's a, that's a good candle. So if you like peppermint and you like sweet peppermint or sweet mint, this is the one for you. And there's crushed candy cane. So that was candle number... Five, so number six is sugar lemon zest and very just plain pretty packaging on there beautiful um, muted pastel yellow um, and the notes on this is tangy Sorrento lemons bright lemon zest and fresh sugar cane it smells like a sweet lemon oh it smells so good I probably should have got two of these now I think about it. So I might have to run out tomorrow and pick up one more. Oh, that smells so good. Or I don't know. I'm having thoughts about certain candles that I order online. Maybe I'll end up um, exchanging for one another one of these. Because that smells so good. Sugar lemons. I just can't wait to when Christmas is over, just burning these candles and getting that fresh um, start after the new year. It's, it's, um, this is a really good candle. So sugar, lemon zest. So now I'm going to swap out my, cause you know, only six come in a carton. Let me pull that one out. This one I can put on my lap. So candle number seven under the Christmas tree. So this is the one that I went to the second store in the mall to pick up. Um, this one smells so good. So I got in the store and I smelled it. I'm like, oh, see, now I realize why I picked this one. Let me grab two. So I did get two of these and two of the holidays. Everything else was a, just a single candle buy. But the notes on this is fir blossom, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. I'm trying to see. I definitely smell a lot of balsam. And the sweetness. What's sweet? 
it has to be the vanilla eggnog. So it's very a sweet pine smell. Now I'm thinking about, I guess I like sweet smells, which is very, I, I wouldn't take me more for that, more like fresh things, but these Christmas candles just smell so sweet and so yummy. They're just so beautiful. Um, white wax again, and then there's the label on that. Pretty little iridescent Christmas tree with gold accents. Really cute. So that was number seven. So candle number eight. Oh, so I almost missed out on this one because um, I heard a lady standing next to me talking about, oh, it smells just like laundry. And I'm like, oh, I know they don't have laundry day over there. And yes, they did, y'all. Laundry day. I had to pick it up. Now, I almost um, end up getting two of these, but I got one because uh, I did pick up another one that's fresh like this. And it does. It smells just like. It smells like Tide or Gain or just laundry detergent, but very fresh candle. Uh, fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender are notes on that. White barn candle, very pretty. Um, I would consider that maybe like a periwinkle blue color to it. And the wax is white. But if you like detergent, you'll love this candle. Pick that one up. I don't think Laundry Day is um, available all year long, so if you like it, pick up a couple and you'll have it. So next will be Eucalyptus Snowfall, another white barn candle. Very, very plain, but pretty um, packaging on that. Looks like there's point, um, gold poinsettias on there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And the notes on eucalyptus snowfall is frozen eucalyptus, snowy spearmint, and winter lavender. And I, I'm getting to the point where I just know in my mind I like anything that has eucalyptus in it. It's And, and, and it has lavender on top of that. Like, it's a no-brainer for me. Yeah, definitely, definitely heavy. Very small hint of lavender. I don't smell a lot of lavender in there, but that eucalyptus is... It, Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is very, very um, prominent in this one. So there's Eucalyptus Snowfall. Very pretty. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay, so now this one was a shocker, y'all, because I have it in the um, little mini, and I wasn't a fan of it. But girlfriend, when I picked this candle up, I said, oh my, this is coming home with me. So uh, this is Dream Bright and the mini perfume spray. And I'm not, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm to the point where I'm ready to give it to my daughter. But this candle, first off, look at that packaging. Oh, it looks like diamonds and gems and jewels. So pretty. Got that, has that darker royal blue and gold um, label on it. But this, the smell, I don't know why sometimes, like, I'll like things in a candle, but I can't stand it in body care. Like, I would never buy this line for me and the shower gel and the fine fragrance. Mm-mm, no. But this candle, sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. So, I should have got two of these, too. That's all right. It's all right. We don't need all these candles, right? But um, yeah, that smells so good. Uh, I'll probably this will probably be like one of those ones where I just save to the end when I'm getting down to there's not much left. Um, as far as uh, candles that I can burn, this one is so pretty and smells so good. Um, I'm glad I stopped and smelled it in the store because I was like, oh, I don't like that in the perfume, so I'm not gonna like that in the candle, and it smells really good. So just like Laundry Day, I did pick up, or kind of like Laundry Day, it has its own distinct smell, but very fresh like Laundry Day, is Sun Drenched Linen. And I know I've gone over this one before in previous um, videos, but I just like to have an extra one of these. Now there is one downstairs, so I'll have two for my little refresher burns, that's what I like to call them. Um, the notes on this is Cool Clean Linen, Crisp Tart Apple, and Soft Musk. Yeah, it just, it smells so fresh, so good, like a dryer sheet, just, just, oh, just smells fantastic. Has that pretty, um, of course, white barn, um, baby blue label on it, and has the 
white wax. So definitely such a good candle to have um, when you like those fresh scents. And last candle, y'all. Last one. I don't even remember what this one was. Oh, okay. Put this down. It is Mahogany Balsam. And there's the label on that. Notes are juniper berry, fresh balsam, and mahogany wood. Once again, mahogany, eucalyptus. Um, these sweet smelling scents are starting to be just, just what I like. And I have learned not to just buy because it's new or because it's a new release. Um, these candles were for me to burn. I don't typically, I have, but I don't typically um, do any kind of resale um, on Mercari for things like these. These are, this is my thing. I love candles. So I'm going to buy what I like. And this mahogany boss, uh, balsam, if you like mahogany, like the mahogany teakwood, uh, mahogany and vanilla, it's just, and you could just, the mahogany just takes over. It smells so good. Very little balsam. I don't know how it's gonna be on burn, the balsam part coming out of it, but this is this is a good candle. So I'm glad I picked this up. This will be nice to have to burn during the Christmas season. And um, yeah, I'm super satisfied with um, the purchases that I made. Um, there's only that Tipsy Elf that I'm not sure about because I did smell that in the store and I was like, mm. Yeah, this might be going back. So I would definitely take that back for another, um, what is it, sugar lemon zest, that thing. Whew, smells so good. But that's going to be it for this day and Vlogmas Day 2. Um, tomorrow, I don't know. I think tomorrow's going to begin where today left off. So if you see me in the next one, I still got all this get up on. Don't come for me because guess what? Things sometimes have to just kind of like roll over. So, um, but thank you so much for coming by to watch my little candle haul. Um, this is always a day that I typically look forward to because um, I just I just love candles. And I think I will venture out and start doing other. Can I know I've bought uh, I've done um, the Better Homes and Gardens candles, but I think. We'll Bed Bath and Beyond and just go look at their candles maybe buy a couple theirs are quite pricey but sometimes you can get a 30% or 20% off coupon and save yourself a, a little bit of change or you can catch them when they're on sale so um yeah we got you know interesting things coming up on the channel so thank you so much for stopping by um and I hope you enjoy this um, second day of vlogmas all right guys love you all bye